Hi, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel guides in the other day. Oh, yesterday we talked about the reopening. Finally, the travel guidelines were released and a lot of questions, a lot of reactions. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. We'll give the details and we'll give our comment, share our comment about this reopening. Jennifer, yes, the Philippines will reopen to foreign tourists starting December 1 to December 15. When is the reopening again? Decem December 1 until December 15. So only 15 days. Well, yep, according to the announcement, the Philippines will only reopen for 15 days. That is very strange. I know. <laughs> I could not think of a logical reason or explanation for that. Next up, who can enter? That's the exciting question. Who can enter? A lot of you have been waiting. Uh, unfortunately, only limited people. Many of you are not able to enter through this reopening because only fully vaccinated foreign, na foreign nationals from non-visa required countries under EO408 who are coming from green list countries. Those who have stayed for 14 days before arriving in the Philippines in green countries only. So only travelers from these countries for the last 14 days. You need to stay in these countries for 14 days. Okay, I'll just mention major countries. China, India, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Japan, Kuwait, Morocco, um, Oman, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, United Arab Emirates. There used to be 44 countries or territories in this list, but uh, recently, just last night, the Philippines announced imposed travel restrictions on African countries. So, um, Zimbabwe, Zambia, um, South Africa, Zimbabwe are removed in this green list countries. So they're no longer green, they are red. This is the list until November 30. So watch out for that new list for December. But if your country is still having low cases, they are they would the high chances that they would still be on the now list. Now that we have identified who can enter for the reopening on December 1, um, what are the requirements? What do you need so that you can enter? What are the conditions? First is that you need to bring your passport that should be at least six months valid, a return ticket. So if you're uh, if you want to stay longer in the Philippines, then um, I would suggest you know availing those rent a ticket service where you can rent a confirmed ticket. I have no experience on this, but if you guys have experience on this, please comment down below the company name or the website so our travelers can look at it. Let's help one another. And the next requirement is vaccination card or certificate. Since being fully vaccinated is a requirement, you need to secure your proof of vaccination. Next up is a negative RT-PCR test result 72 hours before departure. This is important so that you don't need to quarantine. When you have a negative test result, you're fully vaccinated from a green country, you don't need to quarantine. But Jennifer, what if I don't have a negative test result? If you don't show a negative test result, you have to quarantine for six days in the hotel upon arrival in the Philippines. I mean, you know, get a negative test result so you don't have to quarantine. How about immigration requirements? What are the immigration requirements, Jennifer? Do you need to apply for a visa? No. Since you're coming from a non-visa required country, it's the same old thing before pandemic. No need to apply for a visa. Your visa will be given upon arrival. So non-visa required countries, here is the list. There are 157 countries that are non-visa required, visa free in the Philippines. Okay? A reminder that even if, let's say, you are an American, yes, you are non-visa required, visa free, but if you are not coming from a green list country, you still cannot enter, okay? You need to be coming from a green country. There you go. So, for example, how about India or Pakistan? These two countries are on green list, but they are visa required. So, so far with the announcement of the IATF, they did not mention about issuing visas. Please contact the Philippine Embassy. Um, there is no information given by the IATF for visa required countries. There is also a big question. Um, Jennifer, the Philippines will only reopen December 1 to December 15. Does that mean that travelers who arrived on December 1 have to leave on December 15? No, you don't have to leave on December 15. It's only 
December 1 to 15 is only talking about arrival date. It's not about leaving. You don't have to leave. You can stay here up to the validity of your visa. As long as your visa is valid, then you can stay here. If your visa is 30 days only and you want to stay longer, then you can apply for a visa, a temporary visitor's visa, an SRRV. You know, there. Once you are here, the visas can be applied. Okay? It's only difficult when you are outside the Philippines, but once you are here, there are no restrictions on visa applications. You can apply for a visa. As far as I know, when it comes to um, visa upon arrival, no non-visa required countries, they can renew their visa up to three years. So there you go. Since vaccination is a requirement to enter, what vaccination card or proof will be accepted? According to the IATF announcement, there will be three proof of vaccination that will be accepted for foreign tourists. First is a WHO International Certificate of Vaccination or prophylaxis. It's a, it's a yellow card. I know not many countries are using it. Second is a Vaxert PH. Vaxert PH is only available for those who are vaccinated in the Philippines. Vaccinated in the Philippines. They can apply online. Third is a national or state digital certificate of the foreign government which has accepted Vaxert PH under a, under a reciprocal agreement or arrangement unless otherwise permitted by the IATF. For the list of countries that accepts Vaxert PH or has reciprocity agreement with the Philippines, here is the list. So if you have a vaccination certificate or card that was issued by any of these countries, it will be accepted. Australia, Czech Republic, Georgia, India, Japan, Kazakhstan, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, Turkey, Samoa, Austria, United Arab Emirates, and Singapore. Okay, so no need to secure WHO yellow card if you have a vaccine certificate or card from any of these countries. How about Jennifer if my country doesn't have reciprocity and we don't have a yellow card? <sighs> when it comes to vaccination proof, the Philippines has actually been very inconsistent because I know of many travelers who arrived in the country and their vaccination card were accepted even though Philippines doesn't have reciprocity agreement with their governments. It has been very inconsistent. So I'm just really reporting what is announced by the IATF guys. No, I, I cannot say for sure. I don't want to give you information that I'm not sure of. So as far as the IATF announcement goes, WHO yellow card is what you need if your country doesn't have a reciprocity agreement with the Philippines. A yellow card can be requested from the doctor's clinic and even you can order it online, purchase it online and have the medical professional who administered your vaccination sign the yellow card. What, what if they don't accept your vaccination card or certificate once you arrive in the Philippines? What's the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is they will put you in quarantine for six days in the hotel. How about those from yellow countries? Can they enter the Philippines? Unfortunately, it's the same old rules. If you're coming from a yellow country, sorry, same old thing. Foreign tourists from yellow countries are still not allowed. The only way that... Um, foreign tourists from yellow countries can enter is that if your country will be included in the green list for December or if you go to a green country, stay there for 14 days and arrive in the Philippines before December 15. So for example, UAE is a green country and it's open to tourists. You stay there for let's say November 29 and until December 12, then travel to the Philippines on December 13. But I know it's very difficult to do this because of this annoying December 15 deadline. Like what kind of country only reopens to 15 days? And mind you, they only give tourists 4 days notice before the reopening. How can anyone make travel plans then? Flight tickets are very expensive. Who buys their ticket 4 days before flight? Who does? I don't know, maybe rich people do. But a, a, a normal person wouldn't do that unless it's an emergency, right? I don't know what IATF were thinking. They, they had a lot of time to make the announcement, but they did not. They could have just announced the reopening date. Oh. So it, it's not very hospitable, Philippines, no. A subscriber reached out to me this morning and he's doing this plan. 
planning to go to UAE, stay there for 14 days, then travel to the Philippines. So I'll let you know how his experience goes. Anyways, I'll answer some questions now. Anthony Castro, what about those arriving after December 15 from a green list country? We don't know. No, because the announcement is we will only reopen for 15 days until December 15. So do not arrive after December 15, guys. Do not. But I like what Lotus said, no? Every time they update the guidelines, they always put until two weeks later, December 15. Maybe it's just a date. They re-update the guidelines. I don't think it necessarily means they will stop the tourists. I hope you're right, Lotus. But it's still strange. How can people make plans when they give deadlines? I know that this reopening is not a good news for many binational couples because their partners are from yellow list countries from North America, Europe, and some countries in Asia and Australia and New Zealand. Um, but this is still a way progress and um, what we can hope for is that the Philippines will keep going, will keep pushing for the reopening of more and more countries. We're still pushing for the combining of yellow and green countries, right? That is still the best protocol that the Philippines could implement. But for now, since um, they, but for now, um, I don't see it happening soon because of uh, threats again of a new variant. I'll keep you updated with any news on reopening. But this is what all I can give. This is all the announcement from the IATF, and this is all you really need to know for now. I'll update you when new list for green list comes. And anyone here who'll be traveling on the reopening, please share your experience. We'd love to hear it. I'll see you in another update. Stay safe and God bless you. Bye.